and uh, we'll just go down this end. I'm in hall eight or nine now, so we'll just turn the camera around and have a look what's here. Um, just huge amount of machinery, all sorts of equipment. The main tractor manufacturers um, aren't here as such. They are here um, with um, uh, a dealer rather than the manufacturer. JCB aren't here, John Deere aren't here. Uh, I do know, and I don't think Agco are either. Um, Fent are here. This obviously is their stand. So yeah, Fent are the, one of the only companies, I think, that's got their own, uh, their own stand. Yeah, big presence here. Here is their T9 combine, or 9T. Good reports of these by all accounts. This probably will be a 45 foot header. This is their, probably their flexi header. It's got the conveyor belt in the middle. Not sure whether it is a flexi header because it hasn't got the auger, the little auger at the very back of the table. It's got the big auger that most combine headers have. You can see there, impressive though. Just looking under the guards. So we'll head over here. Valtra, I think they're good tractors from what people say. Very well finished off. And I think you can get them in any colour, well not any colour, but you can get them in different colours rather than standard colours like most tractors. So you've, they've got a whole choice of colours to, to choose from. Here's the Fent rubber tract crawler. This is I'm not sure how many horsepower that is. Whether well, that's 600 horsepower, probably. I'm not quite sure. You can see, there's still a lot to go through there. McHale, big stand as well. Smaller one, Syngenta Crop Protection and Seed Company. Well just head back this way we've got agrifac through here sprayers this is the fed forage harvester yeah here's the agrifac these sprayers are yeah, you can see this is obviously a step up from our housing and from the other sprayers. Weigh a lot more and they're just a, for a lot more acres than what we've got. You can see there, if you want a demo, scan that. Is it the same cat? Hardy trail sprayer. Wheel and tyre company, lots of those here as well. So much technology in tyres now with variable um, pressure. You can let the pressure right down from the cab on a lot of tyres now. Graham Heath, they build sheds, grain stores. 1,000 tonne grain store, 54,500. National company. We've got Sands sprayers and those regular viewers will know we've tried one of these and we very nearly had one but didn't. And this is the Horizon, very good sprayers with a new cab on it. We were told about the new cab. Very well finished off. Finished off these are. So, 
And then the, the new one they brought out was called the Infinity, which is that one. And that's a bit bigger than the house and, and bigger than the horizon. And I think that's in place of the stretched horizon. They used see there again these are one of the sprayers we considered but decided against it in the finish mainly on cost and here is farming help and here this is what we're taking part in so you can see here we've got uh, we're talking three different things we're talking about Farmers don't care about their animals. We've got to comment on that, of course. We know everybody does. Farming is causing climate change, which we know it's not. So we've got to talk about that and counter that. And you can't go into farming if you don't have a farming background. And we know that's not true either. So we've got... Here we've got another YouTube blogger, Will Rubottom. And we've got Anna Longthorpe. So here I am with representing Forage Aid, and here we are doing, got audience starting to assemble now. And uh, we've got 45 minutes of this, talking about those three topics and also answering questions. So I'd better go now, to see people starting to assemble. We've got to start this. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this update. I'll do one more before the end of the day and uh, see you a bit later.